Hello friends, the question is like this. We have to evaluate this integral. 1 upon square root of sin cube x into sin of x plus alpha with respect to x. Okay. So friends, to solve the question, first we are going to simplify this given function uh, so that it can be uh, written in such a way that it can be easily integrated. Okay. So first thing what I see here is this, that this term sin of x plus alpha is creating problem. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to expand the sine of x plus alpha by applying the formula of sine of a plus b, which is equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So I'm going to get this as square root of sine cube x. And for sine of x plus alpha, I have written sine x cos alpha plus cos x sine alpha. Okay, further I'm going to do a very different thing. That is I'm going to take sine x common from this bracket. Okay, so why I have taken the sin x common would be known to you in few steps. So let us take sin x common from both these terms. So first term contains sin x, no problem. Second term does not contain sin x. So what we are going to do, we are going to divide sin x with the second term. So we are going to obtain denominator as equal to, numerator as it is, denominator as equal to sin cube x into sin x cos alpha plus uh, sin, uh, cos x upon sin x into sin alpha. This cos x upon sin x can be written as cot x, right? And this can be written as sin power 4x and can be taken outside the square root sine and can be written as equal to sin square x. Okay, so first of all, what I've done, I've written the sin power 4x as equal to sin square x and this cos x upon sin x, the next step I'm going to write equal to cot x. So this term is simplified into cos x square x upon square root of cos alpha plus cot x into sin alpha. Okay, now what benefit this has done? This has done a very important benefit that first of all you can see cos alpha and sin alpha are constant and differential coefficient of cot x is equal to minus cos x square x. So in other terms, a term which is there in the differential coefficient of cot x is there in the numerator. So it can't get easier than this. So we have simplified this function to a very easy function. Okay. So what I'm going to do next integration of this function is same as integration of cos x square x upon square root of cos alpha plus cot x into sin alpha with respect to x on substituting cos alpha plus cot x into sin alpha is equal to t differentiating both sides with respect to x. I'm going to get this differentiation of a constant is zero cot x minus cos x square x and sin alpha a constant shall be written as a constant multiplying with a differential coefficient of cot x so i'm going to get this as equal to minus sin alpha into cos x square x dx equal to tt so for cos x square x dx for these two terms i'm going to write minus one upon sin alpha tt okay so it can be written as minus one upon sine alpha and for the square root I'm going to substitute this cos alpha plus cot x into sine alpha is equal to t so to obtain one upon square root of t dt. Now integration of one upon root t would be equal to two root t. So this will be equal to minus two root t upon sine alpha and on, on substituting the value of t or in other words replacing the value of t I'm going to get this as equal to 2 upon sin alpha into square root of cos alpha plus cot x into sin alpha but the question was given to us in the terms of x plus alpha and this bracket was obtained on simplification of this term sin of x plus alpha okay so this can be resolved or solved back into the form of x plus alpha so this is what has to be done to get the final answer so first of all i'm going to write this cot x is equal to cos x upon sin x take lcm in the next step to obtain minus 2 upon sin alpha into square root of sin x cos alpha plus cos x sin alpha so this is going to give me the formula of sin of x plus alpha so this will be equal to minus 2 upon sin alpha into square root of sin of x plus alpha upon sin x plus c 
which is my required answer. So this is how I'm going to solve this question. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube, HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.